What's up, people? Who do we have on Team Speak? Answer fire. Drew Nonstar checking in. Checking in. Letter short. <laughs> All right. There's a, a handful of people. I, I think we missed a couple names there, but let's see who we've Killer got. Killer Robin. Uh, there we go. Um, we've got about 10 people on the server. So give me a minute. i got to hook up. Okay, somebody else is going to be logging out in a second. Uh, so what I'm going to do is run through the towns real quick. We have three main towns so far that are all kind of encompassed or encircling the original monkey town, which is, I'll point kind of that direction. So as you can see, I'm right above our future PVP arena, which we're just trying to talk about plans right now about what we want to do here, how we're going to build this thing. Um, but as you can see, this big castle out here is pretty awesome. It's huge. And this whole thing right here is going to be a big arena where we can have PvP games and whatever else we can think of where we can kill everybody and, <laughs> and, uh, and not have any problems with killing people. This will be the legal spot where we can kill people. <laughs> um, over here, we have sort of what was Town 2, I believe. It's called Monkey Heights. Original town is called Monkey Town. Um... A lot of this was built by uh, Danny. This is his house right here, or the facade of the house. This is where we built the original uh, villager, uh, the villager farm, and a lot of the new people. We have about 15 or 20 new people that came on in August that are also building a lot of their houses around here. In that area, there is, uh, I believe, there's a Mobs on Demand spawner right up that little uh, staircase up there. Got a handful of new houses over here. Uh, it's taken a long time to load because I just flew over here. Whoa, we've got some Lord of the Rings uh, buildings. That looks like the, uh, the big eye. Um, we've got an ice tray, an automatic ice tray, which is pretty cool too. Uh, let's fly over. There's more back here, but I, I don't want to wait for it to load, so I'll fly over the loaded areas. Um, let's head back to the third town. All right, we're almost there. We're just passing over Monkey Town, I believe is the name. I kind of get them confused, actually. Uh, there is my house right there in the middle, so you guys have seen that before, I believe. Um, and we head right over here, and there is a gigantic monkey statue. Pretty lifelike, I would say. Let's let's take a look. Oh, I've got my armor on. You can't really see it, but it's... Uh, it, I believe it's a scale model. <laughs> um, we have a lot of stuff over here, and this is, like I said, this is called Monkeyville. Did That's I right. say that? Yeah, Monkeyville. Yep. Um, mm -hmm. We've got a lot of cool stuff here that is very useful. Um, we have a gigantic tree farm where we've got the big spruce trees, the jungle trees, uh, dark oak, all that kind of stuff. Um, we have a sort of uh, in progress or in progress uh, um, a map. <laughs> That is uh, not 100% complete so far. It's uh, We're using these item frames so that all the maps connect. And as you can see, like there's the PvP arena. There's my little house. We are right here in Monkey Town. Uh, Monkey Heights was over in this area. So we've kind of taken over this entire landmass over here. There's Spawn Town and the Mushroom Island, if you remember that from the first time I showed you guys the map. Um, we also, oh, we've got some people congregating over here. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hey. What's up? Hey. Um, we've got a bunch of different other farms, and under the monkey statue, actually, we have a wool farm, which is good. We can get all the colors of the, uh, the sheep and everything. Uh, I think, I think every color is there, or just about every color. Yep. Yep. Every color. And then... Uh, we've got a spider farm over there. Is there is there actually a spider farm in the spider, or is the no, spider? No, that's, oh. that's show enough space. He he said he built that's it right. to chase after the monkey farm statue. Yeah. So apparently my monkey farm statue is getting chased by a giant spider. <laughs> that makes perfect sense. Should be Bilbo chasing me. Actually, you know what, people? I need to show you something. I'm gonna head back to my house real quick. We have a major problem going on here. My Cats Bilbo, mm -hmm. no, my Bilbo pig is gone, and there's a horse in there. So I don't know where Bilbo has gone, but I think somebody stole him and put a cow in his place. So that is very disturbing. I'm I'm really concerned about Bilbo. <laughs> where could he be? Um, by the way, uh, I know people are going to ask, so if you uh, 
a lot of people always ask how they can join the server. Uh, there is a link in the description to my Patreon page. Basically, it's a kind of a fan-supported thing. Uh, you get rewards for supporting my channel. Basically, um, you'll see there's a level where you get whitelisted to the fan server. And if you're supporting at that level, um, then I whitelist you onto the server, and you can come on and play and build your own house and you know join all the community projects and the live streams and stuff whenever we do that. Um, the one thing you need to know is we only add people each month at the beginning of the month. Uh, so it's kind of like one time a month. So whatever time of the month you join this month, uh, you won't be added till the beginning of the next month. So uh, just so you know, that's how it works. And let's get on to the next place. We have a lot of cool new places that we've built that uh, we have not been able to show you on a video yet. I did show a lot of this on a live stream, but the video is gone. Uh, for some reason, YouTube only processed a part of it. So let's head over to the next uh, place. I think we're going to head over to our new... Uh, where should we go? The Witch Farm or the Pigman Gold XP Farm in the Nether? What do you guys think? Pigman. Let's do the Witch Farm. Do oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, Alright, well let's head to the closest one out of those two, and then we'll go... We'll just keep on heading to the next place after that. All right, we're in the nether. As you can see, uh, if you haven't seen this nether, I'm, I'm going to be in fly mode just so I can show you guys really quickly. Um, we have a really cool nether hub where all of our little uh, portals can go. And right here, I hope I'm going down the right one, um, is the path to the witch farm. Yep. Okay, I see everybody there. So we're here, and now this is the coolest entrance I've ever seen to a witch farm. We've got like an underground nether witch hut, which is so cool because you see it and you think, you know, you feel like you're at a swamp with a real witch hut. And then all of a sudden you remember you're still in the nether. There's a big witch over here too. Super awesome. So let's head in there. And this is really cool because it's way up in the sky. You can AFK up here, so it's perfect. You just come in through, through the portal, you show up here, you don't really even have to go down to the farm. The farm is down there on the ground underneath me right here, you can see. Um, and basically all of the items from the witch farm get elevated up here through this, this glass item elevator. And it gets sorted out into all these chests, so we can just come up here, Grab some uh, some redstone. Looks like people have taken pretty much everything. <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> it's fairly new, so um, there's yeah there's a lot of sugar in here. Don't aggro the pigman, everybody. <laughs> okay, so nobody's stealing the uh, the spider eyes or the, the whatever. They're just taking redstone and glowstone. It looks like most of all and uh, and gunpowder. Um, should we head down to the witch farm and take a look? We may as well. Okay, so yeah, we've got the witch farm. It's got, what, four, four different platforms, two levels on some of them. Um, so it's pretty, pretty efficient. Screwed up. Is somebody dying? No, Sounds like it. for some reason, for some reason it's jacking up. I'm through. Okay, next. Just spam, just spam right click, just spam it. Alright, I'm through. Just spam it. Yeah. Yep. Hit it. Do that right now. <laughs> Everybody's like half dying. We have this we have this little contraption here <laughs> to get out of the to get above the bedrock. And uh, if you don't click if you don't click multiple times, you can't just hold down right click. For some reason that doesn't work. You have to click multiple times. Um so, anyway, that was my first death, uh, and only death, because uh, I wasn't told that we had to do that. So, I'm using that as an excuse that I sort of didn't really die. Alright, so, we have our gigantic Pigman XP Gold Farm up here. Of course, we used uh, Snow Crash's design, the big donut, I think he calls it. Um, it's three levels. Basically... It's this exact size so that you can stand here in the middle and aggravate. Don't don't piss off the pigman yet. We want to wait until we're all up here. So you get you get a ton of pigman up here and all three levels. And uh, this is our little AFK or not AFK platform. Well, I guess it can be AFK as long as it keeps spawning. 
Um, and you come up here, you aggro one of the pigmen, you know, shoot an arrow or throw a snowball or something like that. And then they all just come over here and fall off. Uh, this is the same one we have on Hermitcraft as well. Um, I built one of these on a different server um, like a year ago as well. So it's super fun. It's fun to just watch. Um, anybody have uh, a bow and arrow and want to... Okay, pigmen are pissed off, so they're going to start running. And they're going to walk over the cactus to get injured a little bit, though they don't need to. Um, we still we still have some work to do here where we need to build a platform that's a little bit closer. Oh, man, look at all these pigmen. Oh, my gosh. Beautiful. It's crazy. So, yeah. <laughs> um, somebody should go down there and pick up the XP. Because uh, I think with the spigot thing, the XP actually despawns if you're if you're not there to pick it up. So no. Oh, oh did somebody die? What happened? Oh. I um I, I wanted to beat letter short down there, so I, I um I told them I was going like you know how you can pass wait get down the ladder. Okay. I didn't do it in time. So, as you can see, there's still an endless supply of pigmen. They can't get out of here quickly enough. And let's go see how much XP are we are we getting the XP? Oh, we've got some uh, some live zombies here. Zombies are jamming the system. How are we getting zombies at all? Yeah, that's weird. It's a great question. Um, I don't know, but we have no more storage space here. We need. Uh, I'm not allowed to put any of that <laughs> here in god mode here, but somebody else, uh, if you want to throw a couple more chests and put yeah, some I've glass above some it, me. or slabs. Okay, on to the next build. So what we do here is we go through this portal, and um, it actually takes us out to the next place we wanted to show you guys, which is our ocean monument. i got to switch back to game mode here. Um, this is how much we've hollowed out so far. Actually, who, uh, the Grampy's been doing much of this, right? Who else has been helping with this build? Uh, Letter Short. Letter basically Short. anyone with a chest here, if you see anyone. a chest. Oh, yeah, so we've got a, a ton of people helping, uh, drain, drain around the Ocean Monument. As you can see, there's a huge, um, you know, prismarine wall getting put up around it. Uh, eventually all of this will be empty and, uh, or... I don't know how, what the plan is for the farm, how they yep, want to build empty. it, but all the spawnable uh, areas going bye bye until we make our uh, farm. Yeah, so they'll build the farm and then we'll refill it in with water. Obviously, they have to have water to spawn, I guess, right? So yeah, this is I believe SC Petty's design. Yep. Um, so what we'll probably do very soon is uh, have a group ocean monument attack uh, on the one near spawn because we have two we have two ocean monuments near spawn, so that would be a a fun thing to do one day very soon uh, that and kill the dragon so those are those are upcoming for those of you keeping an eye on the server what we're up to so that will be very soon okay we're back and actually we're back to monkeyville I forgot to show you guys a couple things um, we have a super smelter what is it called the super smelter 5000 sure sure <laughs> I don't know, I, I think you just said that, something, some kind of name <laughs> like that. <laughs> anyway, we have a ton of furnaces, and uh, obviously it makes sense that it's near the tree farm. So you throw in, you throw in the logs, you smelt them, you get uh, a bunch of cobblestone, or not cobblestone, uh, charcoal. Charcoal. <laughs> you got a good view of the furnaces? I'm going to send it through. Um, sure, I'll take a peek. Go for it. Yeah, and let's... Uh, what do I need to do? Look at the goods here. So you can put anything in yeah, here. The uh, there's there's two rows. Um, one you put the stuff to melt uh, to smelt, like your uh, your raw meat or your logs if you want charcoal or whatever you want. The other one you put the fuel in, and this thing. Uh, obviously, I don't think we put in enough stuff to fill up all the furnaces, but um, basically it will start. As you can see, it's smelting a block per half second, maybe even more, maybe two or three per second, something like that. Um, so it's super fast, really, really cool build here. Um, it's getting a lot of stuff done. It's making my little 
my little miniature automatic smelter in my house useless. So <laughs> we've got a, a super cow farm, of course, here for for steak. Um, this, of course, we've seen before. Um, I actually built one just like this, except only one pillar of cows um, so on uh, on Hermitcraft. So. Um, so obviously you take the wheat from the automatic wheat farm, wherever that is. Okay, so we have our gigantic automatic wheat farm here, and we did this way far away out here, uh, just so we could be opposite the villager, the huge the villager breeding farm that's way on the other side in Monkey Heights. Um, so this is still a work in progress, obviously, because we need more villagers, but once that is done, this thing is going to be pumping out a ton of wheat, which, of course, we'll use right over there at the cow farm where we just were. So everything is kind of built next to each other because it has a use to be there like that. Um, so this town is pretty well organized, I'd say, to have all this stuff next to each other because we've got trees powering the furnaces with charcoal, then that smelting the steak and the beef and all that. You know, you get the picture. It's pretty awesome. Okay, so we're here. Um, I've, I've asked everybody to go to their homes, so I'm going to give you a tour of everybody's uh, houses that have built something and they want to be shown on the tour. Um, so we're still here in Monkeyville, and we are in front of Letter Short here. Hey, buddy, what's up? Hey there. How's it going? Uh, so you built or at least planned uh, most of this town here. A lot of people helped you, so why don't you just give us a quick rundown on this is your house right behind here too, right? It is, yep. With the giant right. Microsoft flag. So give us a quick rundown on what the plan was or uh, if you have any future plans to do here, what's going on. Um, well, you kind of saw the villager thing we're working on for the wheat farm. That's, that's the main yep. project. Yep. Um, I'd like to get some games put in, but they may not go in over here just because this area's already got so much in it. Yep, yeah, we were talking about that earlier uh, before we started recording that um, we're going to create some kind of town where we can have a bunch of different games, too, uh, on top of the PvP arena. So maybe, I wonder if we could take part of the rest of that castle and do some other games in that and just make the whole thing a gaming area. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Could work. It's close by, at least. It's centrally yep. located. So you want to uh, take us through your house, or what do you want to show us? Yeah, I'm sure it's pretty simple, okay. but it's effective. We'll go. Let's go up. I guess I can I can turn off. I don't mean to be in game mode one anymore. So I am a real diable person now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's so not a real word, is it? Probably not. I'm able to die. <laughs> um, I've got the. My uh, my mule and my horse in there. Sounds like you my got entrance. a lag farm in here. Where are all these chickens? <laughs> <laughs> a lag farm is that what we're calling those? That's what I call chicken farms, cause the, yeah. <laughs> um. So in here is just my little storage unit. Okay. Does this automatically fill, or do you just bring stuff in? Oh no, I just bring stuff in. Throw okay. Just oh. sorted, but I sort it. I'm I am the automatic sorter. You've got a miniature Monkeyville map. I see. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very nice. Looks like you have a grizzly bear statue in the corner. This leather. Uh... That's my that's my nether armor. When I go to the nether and I'm just I've got a bunch of buckets on me. I throw that on and run yeah. down. Yeah. That way I throw my stuff in here and don't have to worry about it. Cool. Wow. So you got a big hallway, and lots of storage, of course. This is yeah. yeah this is my my wood and and overflow stuff. So anything yep. I got a ton of stuff of. And then this is my old furnace area, but the industrial furnace has basically rendered this room useless. Yep. And then last, but not least, is my little uh, wing over here. Mm -hmm. Smelting, uh, bottling, brewing area. Yep, and then yep. I got a little downway, little tiny uh, farms down got, here. Got a little maze of stuff. Cool. Yep, and then I've got a AFK fish farm back here. Oh, yeah. So I can use that. And uh, remind us how that works. We, we step in. And, will it give us a fishing pole, or do we have to take one first? It does. So... You, what you do? This is Nim's design. So if you go to Nim's TV ch uh, channel, he'll he'll kind of explains it. Okay. But basically, you you close the door behind you. You turn the little thing on. And it's it kind of like a bathroom it. stall, except you're fishing. <laughs> <laughs> fishing in the toilet as it yeah, happens. Yeah. So it it shoots it shoots the rods at you. So you want to have every slot in your inventory full except the one that you're going to use for the rod. All right. And then you kind of just hold it forward and it just regularly cast, 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 cast. But if you've aimed it right, which is just slightly above and right of center, uh -huh. it'll it'll regularly get it'll 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 cast and it'll float up into the block above you and go black on you. 
And that's how you know you're doing it right. So you want that to happen just about every time you cast the rod. Because when it does that, it won't, it won't repeatedly cast the rod anymore. It'll just stay there until a fish is there, and then it'll pull the fish in and throw it into the chests on your left. All right, so I need to close the trap door? Uh, or... Close the door behind you. I just okay. closed it for you. And yep. then flip the switch? And then flip the switch. Oh, okay. Do you have every, yep. every slot in your inventory filled? I do. Um, I didn't get a fishing rod, though. Should I just grab one? Or... It should be shooting. I may have to go fix the redstone. Somebody may have played so with slightly it. slightly above center, right? Just very, very slightly above center and slightly to the right. There we go. I and then it should, it should just get there stuck we go. a little bit yeah. in the lock ahead of you. Yep, it's stuck. Yep. And then what you can do is what I usually do is I'll switch the minus key on my keyboard to the, what's normally the right click, and I'll just lay my tablet on it yep. and leave for a few hours or overnight. Okay. Well, I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to do this for too long here. Um, <laughs> but I have used it. I used the uh, uh, the other one similar to this. At, uh, Danny's area has one of these too, right? So. Yep. Um, and there's actually there's actually one here at Monkeyville underneath the reed farm. Where's all the fish inventory so I can? Yep. So I have that up in my main feeding area. Oh, okay. Um, cause you had a couple stacks of puffer fish, if I remember correctly, right? Yeah, so if, yeah. You, if so. you opened up my brewing stand... In other words, it works it. really well if you AFK. It, you have yeah, to, it works super well. You have to devote a lot of AFK time to it, right? Yeah, I just leave my computer on overnight. I mean, it's not yeah. like I'm using it while I'm sleeping, or at least I don't think I'm using it while I'm sleeping. Yep. Well, very cool, man. Thanks for the tour. Um, I'm going to head over to the next one. Are you going to come with us? or? Uh... Sure. Okay. We're the All place. right, next stop, yeah. we're here at Divine Winds New. I always get your name wrong because... It's tricky yeah, to say. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you don't have to pronounce the last part. <laughs> we'll just say uh, divine. Kind of so um, is all of this orange acacia stuff yours, all these buildings right here? Yep, they are. That is um, super cool. The first time I saw that building over there, I think I showed it in my first video. I don't remember. But, um, yeah, that, that building's super cool. So what's the what's Thanks. the rundown? You're, you're building kind of a miniature little town here, it looks like. Pretty much. Yeah, over here is, like, my farm stuff. I have uh, automatic farms in the basement of this. Mm -hmm. So you trick people into thinking you're doing a lot of manual labor up here on the top, but then downstairs you're just automating everything, right? Well, the crops <laughs> that are up here are not automated, but okay. stuff that is is downstairs. Yeah. Cool. So what do you want to show us? You got horse stables? Just or cow, stables. cow no pig stables? I need to steal... Uh, I'm going to come over and breed one of your pigs. Somebody stole my Bilbo pig, and I am not happy about oh, really? it. I don't know where it is. I'm sure There's I'll get a ransom note. There's lots of pigs, like, behind my house. I'll probably get a ransom note pretty soon. Probably. Yeah. So, recording. All right, we're on to Drew Non-Star. Does that mean you're not a star? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Non-Star. It reminds me of that, uh, the car, uh, the car thing where you can call emergency from your car or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> the Non-Star system. I get that a lot. <laughs> Just modest. <laughs> so I've only been on the server for a week, right? So you're one of the one of the August newbies. I'm one of the newbies. All right, but, uh, well, welcome. Oh, I've seen this building from the outside. I know where we are. We showed uh, we showed the corner of it in the beginning of this video. All righty. So here we are on the outside. I'm going to take a quick fly around. I've switched back into fly mode to give this thing a look. So you're way at the top of this hill. And I remember seeing this mountain. I really, I'm really, i glad somebody decided to build on it because um, there's a big archway where you can fly under. It's, you know, one of those type of mountains where there's a big hole in it. Uh, do you have any plans for that, that archway underneath, or what do you what do you think? Well, um, I'm thinking I'm, I'm going for that whole, you know, evil layer kind of looking base because, mm -hmm. you know, it's this is a big epic mountain. It deserve, uh, deserves it, I think. So... I think I'm gonna do like a lava lake on the bottom of there. I'm not sure yet. Maybe just do um, you know one one block thick with signs underneath and mm -hmm. water as a safety mechanism underneath, just to make sure you know if I fall I don't die. Yeah. Cool. Yep. And I'm probably gonna build it up a little bit more. I got um got the new storage area put in. I just started stocking it today, putting up item frames. Cool deal. Well, you're off to a good start. Welcome to the server, and Thank you. Uh, we'll we'll see the progress probably next time. Appreciate it, man. Thanks. Cool. Yep. All right. Our next stop.
We have Rydog, who is building. He is one of the newbies as well this month. Um, this is his tree house type of house. Um, I'm calling it a tree house because it, it looks like a tree house. It's got little uh, leaves around it. Um, I don't think Rye Dog is on TeamSpeak, um, so we're not going to be able to hear much about what his plans are, but he's off to a good start. He's got multiple levels here, so hi, Rye Dog. <laughs> All right, we're over here at Derp Dynasty's house. Um, this is close to a couple other things that we've shown. There's that the Lord of the Rings I, and then there's that acacia wood building that um, we just went to and just to give you reference where we're at there's like hometown area right over there so this all kind of circles around and uh, I did actually do some work digging this river through so you can almost take a boat all the way through the river um, in between each of the little towns so um, so that's where we're at so you've got a couple little houses here plus a yeah. Is that a lighthouse or a tower? Uh, as just well? a yeah, just kind of like a wizard tower thing. That's okay. where I have my enchanting and, and whatnot up in there. Cool. So it's almost like a, a little town. You've got a bunch of different houses here. Kind of, yeah. yeah. I um I moved to Germany uh, last year, so I was kind of inspired around that. This house here is uh, Austrian inspired. The other one is uh, German inspired. You need to have a, a sausage house and a and a beer house or whatever, right? <laughs> I, I was actually thinking about doing something like that, like having a little beer garden. Yep. Cool deal. You want to take us through any of the buildings, or should I just run uh, around the town a little bit? Yeah, you can run around the town a little bit. I mean, All the right. interior is not much going on. Okay. Um, I'll just not... I'll peek in the windows and see. It looks like you got a little redstone thing going on in there. Yeah, I had a big uh, project today. I was doing a dropper elevator so I can transport my items from this house to my storage in that house. Oh, cool. And that's about the most intensive redstone thing I, I can ever build. Cool deal. I'll take a, a large aerial swing around all of these. Yeah, this is a cool little area, right? I, I love building in the little rivers like this. So very cool spot. So we have another building somewhat behind here. I believe I see it. Uh, thanks, Derp, by the way. Yeah. Um, we're heading over to the Neon Homer, and I think I see your house. Is that you? Yes, it is. Okay. So you've got a, a little cow and pig farm here. What else you got going? So you're, uh, you're new this month as well, so welcome to the server, right? Yeah, I came in this month. Yep. So what have, what have you been up to so far? Obviously... Well, got your house actually, here. I'd started over there by the hill. I actually had a little hole that I had built to uh, start my mining, and then I actually moved in over here. This was all trees when I first started it all in. So it's kind of appropriate you're over there by the, you know, you're by the eye of, of Sauron because that's where they were cutting down all the trees in the movie, right? Yeah. So you, you cut down <clears> the whole area. A... But you're not evil, though. That's the only problem. Yeah, this this whole area was nothing but trees that I <laughs> yeah. cut down to to make the house. And actually, there's a tunnel that runs underground that runs back over there. But yep. I can take you inside and show you around. Sure. There's not much in here. It's just bedroom over in the corner. Okay. And downstairs is where all the good stuff's going to be. Doing some farm automation and stuff, or what? Or sorting, or what do you think? Ooh, you got a, oh, yeah, a lot of stuff here. Manual storage. It's okay. Just manual storage. Uh, I'm eventually going to have like my uh, portal room and my brewing room and stuff is going to come off the back of the storage room underground. Mm -hmm. I'm, I like doing a lot of stuff underground. Okay. Okay. Well, cool deal. Um, thanks for the tour, and we'll uh, we'll keep an eye on the progress. Cool. Thank you. <laughs> There's some uh, some zombie flesh for you. <laughs> um, so Kicker, I guess his mic is not on or he doesn't have it with him today or something like that. So we don't have him on TeamSpeak. But um, we kind of have seen – we've been looking at these buildings. And um, as you can see, he's got these two towers here. Um, I'm going to do a little fly. The theme is the good good versus evil. So I assume this is the good tower. And then, of course, we have the, the eye of – Sauron, I hope I said it correctly, Lord of the Rings, um, the big eye tower, um, 
pretty cool job over here. That is a lot of um, of nether brick, and uh, he actually smelted most of that. He didn't take it from a fortress, so that's uh, <laughs> quite quite a big project there. Is this a man-made ravine or or is it a natural? Okay, so oh yeah, he's dug out this whole area. Very cool. Um, is the plan to make it into a ravine, or did he just dig it down? Just for fun. He can actually hear us on TV, so we, keep, we just can't hear him. He doesn't have a, a mic. Um, okay, cool. So he's going to put all his farms and everything down here. Very cool. A nice, huge area. He's got a sheep. Everybody needs one random sheep running around, right? And uh, he's already got a beacon. I need to get a beacon, man. I only have one nether skull, or wither skull, uh, so far. But... Okay, cool, man. Well, thanks for the tour. Um, I like the Lord of the Rings theme, of course. That's one of my favorite movies, so. Very cool. I don't know where. Oh, he's still down there. Okay, see you later, bud.